Loading a shipping cask with a canister of remote-handled radioactive or transuranic waste is a slow, delicate operation. Los Alamos National Laboratory had 16 canisters of remote-handled waste stored in vertical shafts, each shaft sealed with a 38-inch concrete plug. The canisters each contain three 55-gallon drums of materials used in hot cells during weapons research and production at a special lab building. Inside each drum are rags, tools, plastic, and other materials, no liquids. Once the plug is removed, workers take radiation surveys. After a final safety check, it's time to lift the canister. Everyone holds their breath. The 10-foot canisters can weigh more than 3,000 pounds. Once the shipping cask is loaded, two lids are bolted on. The shipping cask is tilted down and an impact limiter is placed on each end. A loaded shipping cask is like a super strong Russian egg, containers within containers forming multiple safety barriers. The shipment is monitored by satellite as it makes its way south to an underground room in a salt mine near Carlsbad, New Mexico called the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant. This shipment the first of 16 planned for the summer of 2009 marks another step forward in the cleanup of the lab's Cold War activities.